I saw two things. One is for mine starvation, hungry. Then the second one is darkness. The darkness I'm talking about is a mystery. It's coming to Nigeria. This is a pure prophecy come to pass. Pure prophecy come true. You will listen to this man of God, Prophet Jeremiah Yamoto Fifei. You will listen to the prophecy he made 2023, last year. March, to be precise. Everything when you talk for this video, everything done, they come to pass. One, one. I will play you the full video. Please watch to the end. Watch it to the end and listen and hear what this man said that we will go through in this country. All of them don't happen. All of them, they happen. We did inside them now. You can imagine. Hunger don't too many fat. Nigeria is gradually going into famine. Oh, no, 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 what did happen? No, 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 no. Listen to the news. No, 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 no positive news anymore in this country. If you wake up every morning, you wake up. Everything don't add money. So it's as if we must make money. So we'll be buying things in bulk in this country. Who no can get money buying in bulk? Because what you go buy today? 50 naira. Tomorrow will become 100 naira or even 150. He said this. He said all this in this video. And that is what we are passing through now. He said, prophecy come through. God bless you, prophet Jeremiah Moto Fe. More they give this man in flowers for this country. Oh. Forget it. Sometimes they will say we need we don't hear prophecy and a solution we need. All the pastors are this one, all the pastors in Nigeria are this one. Let me tell you, sometimes God must say they use in hand and allow people suffer some more. He did it to Job. But yet I also suffer not too much. Even Job, nobody even suffered the one when Nigeria they suffer now. What we need now is solution. Koa. Please help me share this video after watching. The video it might be long, but please watch it to the end. Watch it to the end so you listen to everything he said. Watch it to the end and make sure you drop a comment. Drop your own opinion about it. May God bless you. Okay? If you are seeing me for the first time, please follow this page. Follow me. More updates. Thank you very much. Be my witness. <laughs> What's today's date? 12. 12. 12 what? March. March what? March 2023. Be my witness. Prophecy. 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 As I am about to prophesy this prophecy, I am crying inside me. I am weeping. I am afraid in the revelation the lord showed me nigeria our country the lord says let us come together and cry unto our country nigeria go and tell them and i ask god what is the way forward and what next the lord says Time is coming. Time is coming. Time is coming. This is called famine. Famine in all, I call it hungry. 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 Starvation. Starvation. Is coming to Nigeria. Starvation is coming. Therefore, he showed me again in the revelation. Is I saw another thing called darkness. Darkness. I saw two things. I saw two things. One is 
famine, starvation, hungry. Then the second one is darkness. In the darkness, it's a mystery. The darkness I'm talking about is a mystery. When the time comes, if it's necessary for me to interpret the darkness, I will interpret it. But if it's not necessary, I will forget about it. Now, I ask the Lord, what, what have we offended God, the Lord Almighty, to deserve all this that about to take place? The Lord says, the leaders of Nigeria today, they are all confused. This is the time that they need the prophets in order to come to their aid. But the Lord says, if you pray with your people, not only you, then he, the Lord will show mercy. He will show mercy upon the children of Nigeria. The Lord showed me our leaders are like an animal they call reindeer. Reindeer is an animal that has many arms. They now hook to each other. As they hook each other, the reindeer are now crying for help. Who is going to help us? That's the right there I'm talking about. Nigeria, in the realm of the spirit, is book now. Nigeria is like that, what you are seeing on the screen. Nobody to bring it up, but only God. The leaders are not looking for help now, but they cannot come and tell you. In the days of trouble in Israel, in Jerusalem, God sent a prophet in order to help the situation when the country, the kings are hooked like that. In the realm of the spirits, our leaders are crying for help. This is the time that we prophets have to come up through our office in order to help the country, Nigeria. That was not the plan that they were going to hook or materially physically but the prophetic word supersede the plan of a man whether you are a big man you are not a big man whether you are the president you are not the president whatever thing god says is final that what i'm seeing what again and again the lord has shown me again famine austerity hunger salvation what is called starvation is coming starvation and darkness that you and i we have to pray today the lord says once you pray he is going to now show mercy on us because he's the one that will show the secret to the prophet and he's going to redeem it whatever thing that we ask him to do for us let me tell you something if we don't pray if you like we will not if you like we will leave it like that so that we can try what the prophet says but if you like we can come together and pray so that the team will just tempt like this and surely just divert we just come to pass our prayers is highly needed for the government now our prayers highly needed nigerian government nigeria elders nigerian leaders the leaders are confused today i don't know when the lord showed me this i began to not think about you if this hungry will come what could happen to our children children when two elephants fighting the people which look at them which watching 
near them their lives is at stake are you hearing me i am giving you a parable if we don't pray i repeat if we don't pray well time is coming that we are not going to talk about party again why because we we'll look for somebody to come and help us not party the trials are going on in the realm of the spirits so brethren that's why the lord sent me this he said from now on i should pray for mercy after our prayers here today mercy for our country mercy is thoughtful it's very thoughtful the prayers of prophets in israel preserve israel preserve jerusalem the people that were supposed to help us they are right now in problem they are looking for help so this is the time of the office of prophets come out and cry unto the lord i am not walking under the anointing in the day like this i walk through under my office because my office and god sent me because of what is going on in the country a day like this let it see don't manifest before we pray only the signs that's the prayer only the signs i want we don't want any darkness we don't want any famine we don't want any hunger or starvation so this is a message to the people of nigeria i prophet jeremiah motufi i'm here to pass this message to you people so that let us not only me let us i am afraid i'm afraid i'm afraid i am afraid the hope that i have you have that when we cried unto the lord the lord said don't worry son because when the revelation came i was crying not by cry just go and pray what i ask you to do then i the lord will show mercy i'm sure you have heard the video and you have heard every prophecy that prophet jeremiah gave concerning nigeria and how they are being fulfilled you see i want us to know something and i want us to try to understand everything i'm going to tell us today you see a lot is happening in the world right now a lot is happening i will never sit here or come here to talk to you people about a pastor being fake or not being fake it is left for us to study our bible to understand what the bible said about prophets and apostles and pastors he said that on the last days many fake prophets will arise they are going to deceive many and deceive even the elect so it is important to understand that we have a lot of prophets and pastors pastors in these days every day people are opening church church right now is like a business to some people church is not what we used to know again so it is important that before you even step out of your house and say i am going to church you need to know the church you are going to and the one you are going to sit under and the pastor you are going to be taking authority from because some of them are what the bible describes as wolves in sheep clothing so i want you to open your eyes shine your eyes i am not note i am not saying that what prophet jeremiah is saying is not correct i am just trying to warn you before i say whatever i want to say you see in nigeria right now a lot is happening so i want to urge us that we should do where to pray for our country nigeria let us do where to pray for our country nigeria what sometimes annoys me and pains me is that eh, all these eh, our pastors and prophets they come to tell us so many things that will be happening the bad ones and all the and all the rest but you hardly hear them talk about the good things and even when they talk about the good ones they, it hardly come to pass anytime they say something good is going to happen you hardly see it happening if not, I've heard series of prophecies where they say, oh, this is going to happen in Nigeria. I don't always see it. The ones that always come to pass is the, is the bad ones. Bad, bad prophecies, that is always what plays out in Nigeria. And it, it is understandable. With the way Nigeria is going, any bad thing you speak about Nigeria, it is going to happen. One word or other, it is going to happen. Nigeria is just positioned like that. Negativity will always be there unless we, we step up and say enough is enough. So as believers, as Christians, it is important for us to be praying and interceding for our country, Nigeria. Because a lot of people, they are using Nigeria to cash out. They can sit down, analyze what is happening in Nigeria right now and say, by this time tomorrow, this is going to happen or that is going to happen. And it will happen like that because it's a trend. Every year, just go and try to analyze and see. You will see that it's like 
the things happening in Nigeria is, is in a loop, it's looping, it, it continues to happen, it continues to repeat itself, maybe in, in a different way. So you will hardly get it wrong when you come out and say that this is going to happen, that is going to happen. I can tell you right now that uh, uh, in one of these months, that fire, there is going to be fire outbreak in Nigeria. And definitely it will happen because people will actually be careless, things like that, that is always going to happen. It's going to happen. Things are going to go wrong because of the system we are running and how uh, porous the, the system is and the type of government we have. Governments that don't care. All they care about is how to loot and steal money. So all these uh, prophecies, I want to urge the men of God out there, the uh, Christians out there, let us do it to come together to pray for our country in Nigeria. It is not always that we we'll sit down and be talking about the evil and bad things that is going to be happening in our country in Nigeria. Sometimes let us pray to God to help deliver us from the bad ones that have already happened. If you go through the internet and see the amount of bad things that they have said is going to be happening in Nigeria, you ask yourself that ah, this Nigeria said that they are talking about, is he even going to survive from all these things they are talking about? You ask yourself that question. It's just like a, a 50 people have come out to say that 50 bad things is going to happen to you. Are you going to survive? So it is just sad. And when I listen to some of all these prophecies, like, I just shake my head. I say, I don't, I don't blame them. I blame the system. I blame the system because it is only in Nigeria that we pray for what the government of other people do for them. We have made prayer points. Uh, uh, we have made things uh, a prayer point in Nigeria that normally if you go to other countries, their government just do it for them. In some countries, they don't need to travel and pray for safety because they know that they are going to go and come back. If at all they are going to pray about anything, is that they, they are going to pray against accidents. But you will not hear them, oh, as they are traveling, you know, Boko Haram will not see it, will not see you, Fulani Hesme will not see you, Bandit will not, you don't even know who you are dodging from. Sometimes you even have to pray against police because sometimes in Nigeria, police are the, the, the problem we have in Nigeria, police and army. They are the problem we have in Nigeria because sometimes we even fear police and army even more than criminals, more than the armed robbers. Because these people, I, I, don't, I don't understand how they live and behave. Because of money, police can shoot you. Because of 50 naira, 100 naira, an army man can use head of gun and, and, and wipe your head. So it is, it is just sad. It is just sad. So please, I want to urge us, let us pray for our country, Nigeria. Nigeria is going backward every day. Look at the prices of things. A bag of rice, I'm sure that by now it should be around 90,000 naira. But the last time I checked, it was 85,000 naira. Look at how much they sell fuel. Look at transportation. Just look at the things happening in the country. I don't understand. This is a country that is full of potential, a country that God has blessed. But every time what we hear is this bad thing will happen or that bad thing will happen in, in a country like Nigeria, a country that have like one of the best pastors in the world. So sometimes I ask myself, can these pastors come together to pray and fast for our country Nigeria for God to answer them? I ask myself that question, but what can I do? What can I say? If you say now, nah, uh, there are people always that will, that will bring out their head and start attacking you. Touch not my anointed. Though. I don't understand where, when, how talking about things a pastor should do means you touching them. I don't understand. If you think, if we think that pastors should be able to speak just as the prophet of old do, do, used to do. Whenever something wants to happen, they will come out and speak about it. They will, people will go to them and ask them to pray and ask God to help. But it's not like that these days. A lot is happening in Nigeria. No pastor is doing anything about it. Every year we are praying for Nigeria. No change. Is it that God does not answer prayer? Somebody was telling me that God answers prayer. That if not, Nigeria would have gone to war. I said, look, look at, look at how, how some people even reason. What we are facing right now is not more than war. What we are facing like, right now is, is this what we have right now? Is life? So we need to learn to use our brain. Sometimes if I even hear these things coming from you itself, it even annoys me the more. But what can somebody say? What can we do? The only thing we can do is to pray and be hopeful. That someday everything is going to be better and everything is going to be good. That is what I, I, I pray and I hope for. That someday Nigeria is going to be better and Nigeria is going to be good. So please, I want you to join me in that prayer. Let us pray for our country, Nigeria. Let us intercede for our country, Nigeria. Because Nigeria is going through a lot. We are suffering. We are suffering too much. Uh, let me not add myself. I'm not suffering. People are suffering. People are suffering. Why I'm removing myself is because I, I belong to a kingdom that knows no, no lack. In the kingdom I belong to, wealth is common. We don't worry about uh, all these things people worry about. We'll always be fine. If Nigeria like, let it turn upside down. We that are in the kingdom, we are always going to be fine. Because our supply comes from God. Our supply does not come from man. 
So let us do well to pray for our country and perceive for our country that everything should work well for our country. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please do well to subscribe to the channel, turn on your notification bell so you can notify the people post another video. If you return a subscriber, please do well to share the video on our social media platform. And thank you so much for always stopping by to watch our video. We appreciate the support you have been giving us on this channel. May God bless you, may God supply you as you have been supporting us on this channel. Please don't forget, like this video, drop a comment so YouTube can continue to recommend this video to more people. I really appreciate everything you people do for us on this channel please don't forget like i said share on all social media platforms share on whatsapp share on facebook share it on twitter if possible please do where to spread this message and let people know what is happening in our country nigeria and what the pastors and prophets are saying thank you so much for doing that i will see you in the next video you are blessed mm -hmm.